Hi guys, it's me Lakshana over here and today in this video we are going to see how to make an apple scratch game. So first let's see the game. So let me start it. So the apples are coming and I need to catch it. In the top you can see your score. And now it's time to code the game. So, go to sprite and select apple. And again go to sprite and select the bowl to catch the apple. And go to backdrop and select the backdrop. And if you could notice that the apple is bigger than the bowl. So, I am, go I am going to code the apple as when I clicked. Go to looks now and take set size to 100 percentage is there. So I am going to renumber it like 70 percentage. So when we started, you could notice that the apple has become small. So first let's give the coding for the ball now. So take the when I started block from the events. And go to motion and take go to X and Y block and rename it renumber it to zero and I'm giving the number should be in negative so I am giving minus 140 and go to control and take the forever block and now go to the motion and take set x2 and now go to sensing and take the mouse x and insert it and if we start the game so if we start the game you could see that the bowl is going where the cursor is going and now let's Give the coding for the apple now. So first go to control. Go to events and take when I started block. And now go to control and take the forever block. And take wait one second block. And take the create clone of myself block. So the create clone of myself block is nothing but I'm I am telling the apple to duplicate itself. Yeah, the apple will duplicate itself. And now take when I start as a clone block and go to motion and take go to x and y and x and y is nothing but their direction and now i'm i'm renaming i'm renaming it as 180 and i'm attaching pick random and giving minus 200 over here and 200 there yeah and go to looks now and take the show block yeah take the show block and insert it now go to control and take the repeat until block And now go to operation and take that block and insert it. And now go to the motion and take the Y position block and insert it. And I am giving the number here as minus 180.
and take the change y by block and rename it to minus 3. So if I start, you could notice that the apples are starting to come. And oops, I made a mistake and don't forget to insert the height block over here. And take when I start as a clone block now and take the forward block now and also take the if then block and go to operation and take the not block and insert it and now go to sensing and take the touching the mouse pointer so change it to the bowel and insert it and go to control and take the wait seconds block so I am changing to 4 seconds and keeping it yeah and again so and go to looks and take the height block and keep it and now go to the variables and click here and click make variable so name the variable as core and click ok so you have it done you have make a variable and now go to control and take the when I start as a clone block and now go to control again and take the forward block and take the if then block and go to sensing and take the touching block and rename it as select the option bowel yes and now go to the variable and take change my variable by yeah and change it to the score and go to the looks and take the height block and insert it yeah and now go to events and take the when I started block and now go to variables and take set score to zero yeah when we started it the score should again change to zero and that's all you made a game so the apples are coming and if I catch it the scores are changing and don't forget to name the game over in the top you can name the game so I am naming the game as Apple Catch Game. And guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe it guys. See you later guys. Bye.